<laughs> hey, bitches! It has been a year. I've been on YouTube for a year. Crazy. A year. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. So, I thought we should do something special. It's been a year. So, I thought we'd make a little timeline of the last year. Summer 06. The whole reason why I even started making videos on YouTube, my iMac. I never owned a Mac before. Last summer, I bought one, completely random, had the iSight, iMovie, and I just started making videos. It really is the reason why. It gave me the ability to do what I do. I live in a small town in my iMac. I owe it all to them. I was bored. I've actually outgrown my baby. My iMac. My very first Mac. And I'm really sad about it, but I believe that it can give someone else a better life. And I'm selling it. I know. I won't talk about it. But it is actually on eBay. <laughs> In the link. There's a link. <sighs> the Mac that started it all. Plus, I bought a new iMac, so. <laughs> and I'm like totally cleaning house and I put it in a bunch of other stuff on eBay, so. Check it out. September! So September's when I really become obsessed with YouTube. Um, I had a other account before William Sled, it was WM Sled, and it got hacked and deleted, so I started over, so I'll, this is our official anniversary date of September, and this is my one year, so I like to think that this is the one year, even though it was a little bit before, but that account's gone, haters, but it's alright, I'm back and better than ever. So anyways, that was September, I really started making videos, and I started the William Sled name account in September. October. In October, everything changed. All rules out the window. I did Ask a Gay Man the Denim Edition, became my most watched video, 3 million views, thank you very much. But that's when everything really changed. I mean, that's when things were like, whoa. So October is definitely Ask a Gay Man Denim Edition, hands down. Like, there's no comparison besides my birthday. But other than that, I mean, that's it. October rocked. December. December was hands down amazing. I ended up going to LA meeting with um, a set of producers that own a production company and they offered me a contract, a development deal to produce or to develop a television show. I declined that offer and then I guess like a week later, two weeks later, I got a call from my friends at NBC Universal and they presented me with a development deal which I signed and that really was kind of like the whoa wait a minute, factor. I mean, that was crazy. That was a busy-ass December. January. January was pretty exciting, too. Um, I went to New York City for the first time ever by myself. Um, nobody knew I went. My mom didn't know. And it was crazy. I mean, my parents still didn't know I made videos on YouTube by then. And I went and met with people at NBC that um, I love and adore now. But um, I had that was pretty exciting. I'd never been to New York City, so January was like, oh. February. I was a busy bitch in February, for real. I went to Texas to do a story with Elle, and then I went back to New York City for Christine Ebersole's birthday, which was the first time I ever met her, and I'm sure you've seen the video, and we fell in love. And um, I was in New York for like a week that time, and I was still working full-time with The Gap now. I'm like, I don't even know how I did it all, but I did it. And February was crazy. March, April, and May. Honestly, I have no idea what I did these three months. I was back between LA, Paducah, New York, New York, Paducah, LA. I mean, that was a really three, three busy months for me. I really don't know what I did. I have no clue. If someone finds out, let me know. June. June was Show Your Pride. My Show Your Pride video, my second most viewed video, was definitely like the month of June. Um, which I'm so proud of. I love that video. I love doing things like that. June was incredible. And also, <clears throat> in June, I made my deal with Bravo's OutZoneTV.com. They premiere my videos before they go to YouTube, but always on YouTube, because I love YouTube. And, I mean, that was really, really big month for me. Yes. July! July was a fun month. July, I was in Glamour that month. And I think I went to the Gay Pride Parade in July. Yeah, I think so. And I took Stephanie, my co-host, from the Denim Edition to New York for the very first time. And it's always been a dream of hers. And we had an incredible time. 
and I think in July was when I stepped down from being a manager at The Gap. I still work at The Gap, but not full-time anymore, because after that, I was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. So, those were the life changes in July. August! I forgot to mention, I think I, like, went to New York in, in July or June to film, like, ABC's I Caught and stuff like that. But in, anyways, in August, I went back to New York, I did Rachel Ray, um... Also, this is a little bit of an announcement, I've never talked about it before, but um, also in August we finalized a deal um, with Bravo, and I am going to film a pilot for Bravo. Um, a pilot's kind of like a mock-up, as my mother would say. I mean, it may never even be on television, I may never even, it may never do anything, but still it's really exciting. I actually am filming a pilot, and I've never said that before because I don't like to talk about it, but it's true. You're hearing it from me first. I also came out to Paducah in August. I know that sounds weird, but I never did local press, ever, ever, in Paducah. And in August, I did it all. I did the radio. I did everything. I was on the cover of Paducah Life magazine. I did everything, so the whole town found out in August. September! Here we are, one year later. It's September. And I just really want to say thank you. I mean, none of this would have ever happened if it wasn't for my subscribers. I mean, I hold you guys so close to my heart. And I respect every single one of you. And I seriously cherish you. I mean, without you guys, I would have absolutely nothing. I mean, you guys are the best subscribers ever. Like, someone it's like, you're gay. You guys, seven subscribers are there. And they're like, duh! I mean, you guys really are the best. I mean, none of this would be happening if it wasn't for you guys. And I just want to say thank you. I mean, this has been the most incredible year of my entire life. And I just, I can't even believe it. It's crazy. And none of it would have been, none of it would have happened without you guys. So I really do, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you guys so much. And I love every single one of you. I mean, you guys let me call you bitches. Well, some of you do. Some of you send emails. Don't call us bitches. I'm like, hey, bitch. No. Um, but I really do. I, I, honestly honor every single one of you and I just want to say thank you honestly I really do I'm, times are changing my, I mean my life has changed in so many ways already and it's just keeps changing and it's just crazy to think about I'm getting old really old my birthday's next month and who knows what's gonna happen I'm gonna be old next month old mmm Anyways, it's been the best year ever, and I just want to say thank you one last time. All right. Love you, bitches. Mwah. Bye.